good morning lavish fam welcome back to another vlog so today is monday and it's like 6 30 a.m i'm up and dressed because i am starting a new project at my neighbor's home it is the same neighbor who i did the theater room for um it's in another vlog the room i painted the entire room black but anyway um yeah so um if you hear that in the background Dante's in the office rowing and his instructor, his rowing instructor, because he's taking like a class, is like Australian <laughs> and he's pretty loud. But either way, um, I am going to cook us a little breakfast because I like to make sure I eat a really good breakfast before um, I do projects um, and then I need to go to the garage and pack up my vehicle so yeah let me go ahead and get started with just something simple probably just make some pancakes and cheese eggs because i don't think we have any breakfast sausage or bacon because dante gotta go grocery shopping today so um yeah so let's do that let me see what i can come up with so hope please okay so today's vlog is going to be sponsored by rock your walk <laughs> so they sent me a set of three cooking pans it's a long-lasting ceramic non-stick cookware set so let's see what it looks like So this set comes in multiple colors and I decided to go with the white color. That's what it looks like. And its sizes are, the three sizes is an 8 inch, a 10 inch, and a 12 inch. Okay, so this is just basically the care instructions for it. Can you see? And that's what it looks like. So it's more of a, a off-white color. So if you're looking for stark white, this is not stark white, but it's like an off-white color. So I'm going to go ahead and test them out. So first I'm going to wash them, dry them, and then I'm going to go ahead and test the set to see if my eggs and my pancakes are going to stick or not. Oh, I like the feel of it though. Okay, so let me go ahead and wash them. Um, wash them and dry them so I can go ahead and start cooking breakfast really quickly and also see how they hold up to things sticking to them. So a few highlights about this cook set is that it has a non-toxic ceramic non-stick coating. It's derived from natural materials like sand and rock, free from harmful chemicals like PFAS, lead, and cadmium for healthy and more sustainable cooking. It's simple to clean, dishwasher safe, and makes cleanup easy and convenient. It's versatile for all cooktops, compatible with gas, electric, glass, ceramic, and induction stove tops, and oven safe up to 824 degrees Fahrenheit for bread baking and roast. It has secure and comfortable handles, heavy duty polished cast stainless steel handles with ergonomical design and double riveted for strength and maneuverability. It's durable and long lasting, made from forged aluminum and triple coated with ceramic, providing superior non-stick performance and long lasting value. It's also eco-friendly. It's made from 100% recyclable materials, reducing carbon dioxide emission by 80%. I forgot to mention, they are also very, very, very affordable. The prices were very reasonable, um, and I just love how easy they were to clean. 
everything just slid right out when I was like cleaning up the eggs after I made them even with the cheese. Look how perfect they look. They look brand new once again. Alright y'all, so breakfast has been had, pots have been washed, pans have been washed, and it's time for me now to go be productive. <laughs> it's 7.40, I told her I'll be at her house between 8 and 9, so I still need to finish packing up my truck so we can go ahead and get started. So, I'll see you at my neighbor's house. Alright guys, so we just got to my neighbor's house. Um, I've got everything brought upstairs into her bedroom, and let me show you the wall that I'm going to be working on. Okay, so this is the wall. It is not the one right behind her bed because her bed is blue, so she doesn't want a blue accent wall behind the bed because, of course, then it will kind of blend in, um, and her bed may get lost. So we're going to be doing this wall over here. It's a pretty big wall. Um, and then she's going to have her desk pushed up to that wall. So the design is pretty simple because she likes simple elegance. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So hopefully I can wrap this up in a short amount of time. So the first thing that I'm going to do is map out where I'm going to put the wood pieces on the wall. Um, she's just going to have basically like four sections, so the wall will be kind of divided up into like a f to like fours. Um, but, so I need to first map out where I want to put those. here is measuring the height that I need to put the uh, wood pieces on the wall um, and I'm basically just taping it off to make it easier for me to um, know exactly where I want to cut it and I'm doing all five pieces at one time just to cut back on time okay so this is super ghetto and I don't recommend but I'm going to be using my jigsaw to cut these pieces and I just figured that this will just be a makeshift type of workstation. It worked out perfectly but it's ghetto so don't, I don't recommend. In between each cut I actually went over to the wall to just make sure that my cut was right and to make sure that it was measured correctly and it fit into the space because she wanted to keep um, her baseboards as well as her crown molding. So now I'm adding liquid nails onto the wood piece prior to me using my brad nail gun to actually attach the pieces to the wall. just like caulking it to make it look more um, clean and more professional and look like it's seamless versus just actually just glued to the wall. Caulking also uh, fills in those gaps so that the piece of wood is doesn't look like a, just a separate piece of wood. It actually looks like it goes on that wall. Okay, so what I'm doing is actually sanding down the spackling that I put over the nails. Um, I didn't show myself spackling, 
but I actually spackled and now I'm sanding it down so that it's nice and smooth before I paint. Okay, so um, Erica picked her own paint color. Uh, she went to get it herself, so I have no idea what this paint color is. Um, it says Salty Dog. Sharon Williams, Salty Dog. So we gonna find out together what the paint looks like. <laughs> so I'm just mixing it up a bit. And then we're gonna get started painting. So I forgot my can opener, my paint can opener at the house. So I had to get creative. I'm using a curtain rod thingy to open the paint. Oh, this is pretty. I can see it. And remember I said it's called Salty Dog. <laughs> so. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. first coat of paint is complete it's of course very patchy but you know that's to be expected so it's like 12 30 so I'm gonna go take a lunch break while this dries and then I'm gonna come back and start her second coat All right, y'all, so I have finished with her wall. So I'll show you guys what it looks like really quick before I head out. So hope please. Good morning guys it is it's Tuesday it is it's Tuesday 
Um, so I am up and dressed. I've been up again. Once again this morning, I was up at like four. That don't mean I got out of bed. I stayed in bed. But anyway, so today is another really full day. Um, I am going to go get a car wash. I need to go to Hobby Lobby to get some t-shirts so I can um, put in our get the gift bags for Dante's retirement cruise. I'm giving everyone a personalized t-shirt. So um, I need to do that. And then I'm meeting one of my friends for a business lunch at this um, restaurant that I've been wanting to go to forever. Forever. So um, it is, and I say business because it's you know, a ketchup slash business. Yeah, yeah, meeting. And then when I get home, I think I'm going to try, depending on what I feel like, I'm going to try to put this picture up in the loft. So, hold please, let me show y'all what it looked like. Hold on. Can y'all see it? Okay, so I was at... Dante and I were at Burlington on Friday um, after we had went out to eat. We were just kind of like walking off the calories. And we saw that picture and thought it would fit perfectly in the loft because of the colors and because it's a serene place. That's where I go to kind of just, un, you know, to like relax. So I thought that maybe it would look nice above the couch. So we're going to see what that looks like. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and make me some coffee, get me some Raisin Toast and get on the get on the way because it is after nine o'clock. And um, I am meeting her at 1130 in Atlanta. So, yeah. Oh, 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 before I forget. So yesterday when I was doing my clients slash neighbors um, wall, I just want to say that. She is very like, like minimalist when it comes to like the design that she wanted on the wall because she wanted her like items in her room to like pop. So her bed is blue and her accent colors are blue. So she knew she wanted a blue wall, but she didn't want the wall behind her bed to be blue because her bed is blue and she didn't want her bed to get lost. So then she said, well, hey, can you do this extremely big wall in my room, which is a really big wall. But she's like, I, I, I want something simple that pops. So I went on Pinterest and I sent her like maybe three or four different, I think it was four different um, ideas to kind of, you know, get an idea of what she, what, what, what lane she wanted to go in, like what direction she wanted to take it in. And she literally like picked the first one, which was that one with the very simple wall divides so it didn't take me you know nothing but maybe it took me about maybe six hours or so to do the entire project which was not bad maybe six or seven hours so yeah so that's the reason why we went with such a simple design and then she's gonna put really big pictures in that space once the wall is completely dry um so that's going to be really pretty. I can't wait to see the finished results of it. And depending on what the pictures look like, if they're not too personal, maybe I'll get a chance to share with you guys. But like I said, let me go ahead and make some coffee, get this toast so I can get on the road because it's already after nine. All right. So quick outfit of the day is just this uh, long sweater. It's very, very lightweight. Today's going to be like 79, 80 degrees. So I wanted to wear something that... I can wear inside of a restaurant because I'm always cold, but something that's really lightweight so that I'm not like sweating. Then I have on a white cami, some white pants, some slides to match the brown in this sweater, and I'm just carrying this again today. See you guys in a bit.
my friend Sakina. Hi. I don't know if you guys remember her from the cruise that we went on in <laughs> September, but she and I are planning a vacation with every month. Uh, almost every month. Yes, yeah, so we don't have one in October. Or May. Well, nope, we start in June. Oh, that's just We true. start in June, yeah. and then we just keep going. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Cause yeah, Ariel's birthday. Is the first, is, and then September. Oh, wait a minute. August, wait a minute. July. No, I have one in June. Do you have one? I don't I'm know. Not, no, I don't have anything in June because we were supposed to do it. Yeah. But I had looked because I was like, you know what? Maybe I su should surprise you and pop up. You should. But the price tip, sit down. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to sit down on that one. But then July, August, September, nothing October, yeah. November, December. Yeah. yeah. October is a yet. And yeah. January. Well, we December do. goes until January. No, then we have Italy at the end of January. That's right. So we do. Okay. All right. So she and I are going to just kind of discuss some business things and just make sure we're on the same page for all of our trips. And then I will let you guys see what we order um, because we are here for the oysters, honey. Hopefully they taste as good as Drago's, but I'll keep you guys posted. so as you can see I am back home I am in the office um, and I'm tired <laughs> I had to go to two different Hobby Lobbies to get the 10 t-shirts that I need to make for this cruise um, and now I'm about to start kind of like playing around with the design um, I was gonna hang the picture in the loft that I showed you guys earlier but I don't feel like it I don't really feel like it so um, I think I'm going to end this vlog. No, no, no. No, no, no. Then I tell you don't say nothing. Alright. Y'all, that's Ariel. Ooh, but. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, the food at CNS, if you are here in Georgia and like seafood, the food was amazing, okay? When I tell you the service was five out of five, the food was probably a six out of five. It was the ambience of five out of five. Like, it was just, it's a little pricey. It's a little pricey. But it was so worth it. They had the best clam chowder I've ever had in my entire life. And I eat nothing basically but seafood and chicken. I don't eat beef and pork. So it was the best clam chowder I've ever had. And it's called CNS Sea Oyster Bar, I think, or Seafood and Oyster or something. <sighs> Amazing. And it compares, because I went there to see if it tastes like Drago's in New Orleans, and it was very, very, very close. Very. Like number two. So um, if you are in Georgia and you are interested in CNS, they have two loca two locations, one in Sandy Springs and one in uh, Atlanta. So, um, so with that being said, I'm going to end this vlog and most likely on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday I'll start another one. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.